Hi, my name is Catherine Rule, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about reupholstering this office chair that I got off Craigslist. Um, I got it off Craigslist and it was a great deal, but it wasn't in very good condition. So I decided to reupholster it and um, I'm gonna take it apart, take apart the pattern or the fabric, make a pattern from it, cut it out, and um, put the new foam onto the chair seat today. I'm gonna use this fabric, um, which I have done another video on how to make this pattern. So you can go and check that out if you haven't already seen it. This is my first upholstery project, so bear with me. It's really a lot of fun. And um, it did take me a really long time, so full disclosure. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and give this video a big thumbs up and comment below if you've done any upholstering. Um, I'd love to hear all about it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. I was using more of a living room chair for my home office and it was killing my back. So I went online and started looking for chairs and I found one on Craigslist that was a really good deal and really close by. So I went and picked it up. When I got it home, I realized that it wasn't in the best condition. Um, but again, I got it for such a good deal. So I decided to reupholster it. And um, as you can see, there's some stains and some holes. And I just thought, I'll make it a little bit nicer. So I started the reupholstery project process by taking it apart and cleaning as much as I could. Some of the screws were really, really tight. I don't think it's ever been taken apart before, so I had to have some help with that, but it wasn't too hard to take apart. It just was mostly time consuming. I put a little WD-40 on there to make sure that the spring was working well, and I made sure to take pictures of the bottom of it so that I could remember how to put it back together. <laughs> After we got the hardware off, I put it in a safe place and started to take off the staples. There were so many staples. It was crazy. It took a long time. Um, but I just went one by one and was careful to not rip the fabric too much because I was going to use it as a pattern um, for the new fabric. So after the first thousand staples, there was the second thousand staples, but eventually I got them all off and got the fabric off of the chair. So after I got it all taken apart, you can see all of the pieces here together and I ordered a new piece of foam for the seat of the chair because this foam has seen better days and it's just time to replace it. And I kept all the pieces together and safe. So the next step is to take apart the fabric parts and I used a seam ripper and just carefully took them all apart. There was a lot of top stitching so it took a long time. I just was patient and went one seam by one seam and finally got it all uh, separated. And then I started to make my pattern from those pieces. I added seam allowance and cut them out and just methodically went through the entire chair. This part had some padding, which I also decided to get rid of, and I used some batting instead when I cut out the new headrest part, um, but I did save it uh, to make sure it was the right shape. So here's the head rest piece again, and I'm tracing it off and making sure it has seam allowance. Um, for this piece, I wanna have two pieces of the outside fabric, two pieces of interfacing, and 
some padding for inside so I want to make sure it's symmetrical and I keep it all together. This is the piece that was on the bottom of the seat and you can see there's holes for the screws. So I'm going to trace out this piece um, for a pattern piece and cut out a fresh piece of fabric for this. This is a non-woven. Um, I'll probably just use something I have extra laying around because um, it's pretty beat up so I want to replace that too. So again, I just trace it off and mark all the holes. There's no seam allowance on this piece, so it didn't take very long. So now it's time to cut out the pieces from my shibori fabric. Like I said, I did a video on how to dye this pattern which is done with a right triangle fold. So you can go see that um, in my other videos. And I just used pins and was careful to make sure I liked the part of the pattern that I was using on the fabric while also avoiding having very much wastage. Um, so I was trying to be careful not to waste fabric while I was cutting. I need to cut out the interfacing still and I used a medium to heavy weight interfacing. I'm planning on sewing this in and this is just going to reinforce the headrest. So I have all these pieces cut out. This is the top and it has interfacing and um, the shibori outside fabric and then also some batting. Um, so there's quite a few layers on that part. The rest is pretty simple. There's the seat and then the back. All right, so I'm going to start by just tearing this off and then I'm going to glue on the new one. I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue. This is the clear, um, that's just what I had. You can probably use any kind of glue as long as it's nice and strong. And then I'm going to put on the new piece. Okay, here we go. Been looking forward to taking this off. Actually coming off a lot easier than I thought it would. it off and okay so these are the two holes where the rod is gonna go so here it is here this rod is what kind of keeps the foam in place so let me see okay so this is like a, just a little bit too small for this wooden piece so I have some batting that we can just sort of fill in. Before I cut it I want to make sure I measure it and I cut it in the right spot so I'm going to mark it out and draw a line to make sure I have it in the right spot. Heavy duty, yes. I thought my rotary cutter would be able to handle the job but it definitely was not up to it so I decided to go with a X-Acto knife with a fresh blade. 
I carefully cut the whole thing apart and just had to work my way down. Probably the professionals would use a saw, but this is what I had at home. So I put a generous amount of Gorilla Glue onto the wooden seat and then started to place the pieces of the foam carefully onto the seat. I wanted to make sure I didn't cover up the holes, uh, but I didn't want there to be a gap in the seat because I want it to be comfortable. Once I got the foam onto the glue, um, it said to clamp it, and I didn't have clamps big enough, so I just decided to use some heavy books and things I had to keep it down for the next two hours. Thanks for watching guys. That concludes the first part of this video. I'm going to put up a new, another video with uh, sewing the fabric together and stapling it onto the chair and then putting the chair back together. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys how it turned out. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. It does wonders for my video. And check me out on Instagram. My handle is Onyx Matter. And you can also go to my website to look at my blog, onyxmatter.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.